I was recently asked if it was possible to combine curves in Modo, and there is a way, and I'm going to demonstrate it now. So I'll press Control Spacebar to choose the front viewport from the Viewport Pie menu, and I'm going to come over to the Create side tab, and I'm going to choose B Spline Curve. Uh, this will work with any of the curve types in Modo although with Bezier there is a little bit of a caveat, um, and you can combine curves of similar type. So I can combine two or more uh, B-spline curves, I can combine two or more standard curves, and I can combine two or more Bezier curves. So I'm just going to quickly draw out a uh, quick shape with the B-spline uh, curve tool, and I'm not trying to make anything spectacular here and I'll drop the tool, and I'll press 3 uh, for polygons mode, and I'll just click on the B-spline curve. And uh, before I move on, you'll notice that when I select the B-spline curve tool, the points don't uh, show up, the blue points. Um, this is because in my system preferences, under tool settings, under global flags, I have curve tool auto activation disabled. If you have it enabled, which is the default, uh, when you select a curve, uh, the actual points will show back up uh, and become editable. Um, so that's one area that might look different. Uh, I have that actually disabled. Uh, so that when I select my curve, uh, it doesn't show back up the little blue points. So I'm just going to quickly duplicate this. So I'll press W for move, and I'll hold Control and Shift and click on the uh, X handle of the move tool to just quickly uh, create a duplicate. I'll press R for scale, and then with negative scale enabled in my tool properties, and if you don't see your tool properties, um, you have to click this little uh, tool properties box up here in the top left corner. I'll just pin that. So I have negative scale enabled, and I just want to scale this negative 100% in the x-axis, like so. And I'm going to select this vert, and I'm just going to uh, set its position so that it's zero on the x-axis. So with this vert selected, I'll click geometry, vertex, set position, and zero meters in x. That just brings it all the way to the uh, center of the origin in the x-axis. And then I'll select this curve, and I'm just going to quickly bring up the snaps and precisions tools, and drag snap rigid, and I'll click this vertex and just snap it uh, to the center here. So now these are still two separate curves. Oh, and if I press 1 to go into vertex mode and middle mouse lasso select the vertex here, you can see it's actually two vertices. So the first thing I'm going to do is merge these verts. So in the vertex side tab, I'll click merge, and the range is set to automatic, that's fine, I'll click OK. And it says one vertex has been merged, so now if I middle mouse button lasso select that, you can see we have one vertex, but we still have two separate curves. These two separate curves just happen to share a vertex. So now we have to merge these two uh, curves, or these two polygons. So I select the curve on the right and then the curve on the left, while holding shift, and then I can either come over to the polygon side tab and choose merge, or I can come over to geometry, polygon, merge. And now you can see this is actually one polygon. And if I come over to uh, create and choose the B-spline tool, to bring up the B-spline tool properties, I can click uh, closed, and that will actually close the curve if I want it to. Um, so if I leave that open, I can actually uh, change the mode from edit to add, and this allows me to uh, middle mouse button, click and delete uh, some of these points, and I can actually start drawing out a new curve. So we can start combining uh, multiple uh, curves. So let's say I want to combine these two uh, curves, this one and this one. I'm just going to quickly select these two verts, come over to vertex. Uh, previously I merged them, but because these are a little bit of a, there's a distance between there, I'm just going to choose join averaged. So now these two vertices have been joined. But even though they're joined, these are two separate curves still. So I have to select both of them while holding shift and then come over to Polygon and choose Merge. And there we go. Now it's one curve. And if I once again come over to Create and choose the B-spline curve tool, I can choose Closed. 
and then it will be a single closed loop. So as I mentioned, this will work with any of the curve types as long as the curves being uh, combined are of the same curve type. Uh, and I'll just quickly go over a little caveat when uh, using the Bezier uh, curve type. So I'll just draw out a quick uh, random Bezier uh, curve like so. And then I'll create another Bezier curve over here. This is just totally random because the design really doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll show you the right way to do this first and then I'll show you something that you might run into and I'll show you why it's happening. So I have two Bezier curves here uh, and if I select these two verts here and choose vertex join averaged, the two verts have been joined but there's still two curves so if I select both of these and then come over to polygon merge uh, it merges into one curve, and if I activate the Bezier curve, you can see we have one nice handle here. So right now the uh, the tangent is broken. The, the, there's uh, kind of the handles are at an angle. If I hold Shift on one of the handles, I can kind of uh, reconnect uh, the tangency to make it nice and smooth. Um, so that's actually working correctly. Now let me show you what you might run into. So let me undo that to where the curves are separate. So you'll remember I chose both of these points. Now with the Bezier uh, curve type, you'll get uh, three points for each kind of handle. Now if you actually accidentally select more than uh, two points, you'll have some problems if you combine three points, but if you combine all four points, you'll have kind of really odd results. Um, it's nothing earth shattering, but it is uh, something you probably want to avoid. So I'll just quickly uh, join these so that four vertices have been joined. I'll combine the two uh, curves so I'll come over to polygon merge and now if I select the curve it looks like it's one curve combined and it is but if I come over to the Bezier tool and I try to edit this uh, handle you'll see the handle is actually uh, not behaving as you would expect. So it really just comes down to the way the handle is. Uh, there's no way to get uh, a smooth uh, curve when you combine multiple points. So I'll just undo that. And once again, just to drive the point home, you want to select uh, just the end points, join those or merge them, select both curves, come over to polygon, uh, merge, and then select the single curve now and click the Bezier curve uh, button and then hold shift and click on one of the handles and we have a nice smooth curve now and we can close this and everything works nicely.